This is my Noster Pinner. I bought this a few years ago. I believe it, I bought it from Carol and Pete Leonard, uh, Spindlers 2. You'll find them on the net. Uh, Spindlers 2, two in figures. They're a lovely couple who teach people how to spindle spin and sell spindles and associated fibre and equipment. Now, this is how to use a Noster Pinner. Take the yarn end and lay it along the Noster Pinner so that the tail end is towards the bottom of the handle. It is possible to, you see this groove here, to tie a little knot around there with it, a loop around it and tie it with a knot. Uh, but I just simply hold the yarn against the handle with my hand. And then make a few wraps around, straight forward like that, around the top of the Noster Pinner and push them together and that begins the yarn ball. And then the action for wrapping is to come below the yarn and then over the yarn at the top. So under at the bottom, over at the top. Can you see? Under at the bottom, over at the top, under at the bottom, over at the top. Wrapping each wrap next to the previous one, under at the bottom, over at the top. And then as you do that, gradually turn the Noster Pinner towards yourself so that you're constantly exposing to yourself the face where your wrap is going. You could just carry on like that, always taking the yarn next to the, the wood. But if you do that, you'll end up with what we call a yarn egg. Rather than a ball, you'll have an elongated egg. And so when the ball starts to get thicker, I start taking the yarn slightly away from the wood and I would use my thumb. Can you see I placed my thumb there so that it doesn't wrap directly next to the wood like that and I'd take it further and further out as the ball goes bigger. Now if it's getting too fat uh, but very short then I, I take the yarn in again and start moving to more closer to the wood. So move towards or away from the wood with the yarn as you go to make a very neat lovely ball of your wool. Now some people make them very neat can you see that it's a bit rough there whereas this section here is quite neat. I have a friend that makes them beautifully like that very slowly and carefully does it to make perfect yarn balls but of course even roughly done like that it will work. And that is how to use an Oster Pinner. <laughs>